Toys and Games. So if you remember our video from last time, we got a few successful rocket flights, but the problem was the rockets flew a little too well, and when they came down, they came down hard and caused some damage. So I had a nice rocket with a caved-in nose cone. So to solve that problem, we want to put together a parachute system. So we're going to use a system that's based on air flaps, which will use the air pressure of the rocket's flight to keep them in place until we want the parachute to trigger. The first part I'm going to build is a way to attach the parachute to the main body of the rocket. So I'm going to take the bottom of a bottle, I'm going to drill a hole in the middle of it, run a string through it. The string's going to be about two feet long. I'm going to attach one end to a nice little nail that I bent into an S shape and then reinforce it with duct tape. Just so the knot doesn't untie, I reinforced it with a couple of drops of glue, put duct tape over it, and I'm going to pull the string through tight, and then seal it to the bottle with another piece of duct tape so it's going to hold nice and firm. A little later on, we'll attach this entire assembly to the top of our main bottle and uh, seal it on with some duct tape and some glue. So for the next piece, I wanted to make sure that we had a way to attach and securely carry a small piece of electronics, like a size of a USB stick. Since we don't want to lose our electronics, we made a little tether out of a cable tie and a rubber band. With this in place, we'll be able to send up a device like an altimeter without having to worry about losing it in flight. Also taken a couple of pieces of signboard and made a little bit of a compartment for our altimeter to rest in. Um, this will also give a little bit of structure for our nose cone to sit on. So to put it all together, we're going to run the string through the poster board compartment so that the rubber band's inside the compartment, and then we're going to hot glue it to our bottle bottom, and then duct tape the whole thing to the main part of our rocket. Also used a piece of duct tape across the top to keep the string from slipping out of position as well. And we're going to work on our nose section next. This is actually the compartment that will contain the parachute and let it go. So we're going to start with the top of another bottle. I'm going to make it long enough so that it can overhang our little compartment and still have enough room to carry a parachute. And we're going to drill a small hole in the top of the cap. So in order to get the top to pop off when we need to, we're going to make a spring. It's going to be a slice out of a bottle with some holes drilled into it so that I can slip the tether line through it. I run that line all the way up through the hole in the top of the bottle cap and that's going to hold our pieces all together. I've also attached a rubber band to either side of our bottle top. These rubber bands are going to hold everything in place until it's time to release the parachute. So to bring this part together we're going to attach the string to the bottle cap similar to how we did it to the bottom end with a nail, reinforced it with some glue and some duct tape to make sure the knot doesn't slip. And you can see we put our spring inside and when it's all put together the spring will compress and be able to push the top off. And of course we want to test to make sure that this all works. Next, we're going to work on the air flap system. This is a tricky piece because the air flaps are both the thing that's going to hold the top in place and it's also going to release it at the right time. We actually need two sets of flaps. One set is going to be long and thin. The other set are going to be small square pieces. The long pieces are going to go on the sides. The square pieces are going to be at the bottom to hold them in place until the launch. Each of these pieces is actually two layers of plastic glued together to give them a little bit more weight and strength. The longer flaps have paper clips pushed through them towards the middle to act as posts for our rubber bands and paper clips coming off the bottom to act as a catch. Two smaller pieces just have a hole drilled into them to actually catch onto that little bottom piece of paper clip. We're going to attach our flaps to the rocket with duct tape so it's nice and strong but still flexible and can move with the air pressure. The rubber bands attached to the nose section are going to be looped over the pins coming out halfway through the main flaps. And at the bottom, the small flaps are just going to barely catch on to those paper clips 
and hold the two main flaps in place while it's under pressure until it launches. The idea is that when we launch the rocket, the air pressure will push down the small flaps, releasing the larger flaps. They'll be held in place by the air pressure of the flight. So when the rocket gets to the top of its flight, it will have slowed down enough that there's no more air pressure holding the flaps down. They'll release the rubber bands and let that spring pop the top off and release our parachute. And of course, to make sure that this all works, we're going to test it out without a parachute attached first. And we'll also test it with a parachute attached. We'll tie the parachute onto the string, bundle it up real nice, and give it a go. And it looks like our parachute was able to release nicely, and it looks like it should unwind just nicely while it's flying through the air. And last but not least, we're going to make a nose cone out of a plastic cup and an Easter egg shell glued together. We're going to duct tape that to the top of our assembly to replace the nose cone that we broke last time. So that's all the ground tests we can do. The next step will be to get the rocket in the air. Hopefully we'll get some good weather and can do a launch, and you can see our parachute system either succeed or fail, as the case may be. Depending on those results, we'll either make modifications and try to fix it, or hopefully it'll all work and we can start working on a parachute system for one of our other rockets. Either way, hope you had fun and hope you learned a lot from this video, and hopefully everything goes great the next time. We'll see you around. Have a good one.